In Jeremiah 47 and 48, we witness God's judgment upon the Philistines and the Moabites, showcasing that sin will not go unpunished. While this might seem daunting, there's a glimmer of hope in chapter 47. Listen to verse 6 and 7. Now, O sword of the Lord, when will you be at rest again? Go back into your sheath. Rest and be still. But how can it be still when the Lord has sent it on a mission? Now you're probably wondering how I can find hope in that passage. Well, first, I know the sword of the Lord. And second, I know the mission. The whole New Testament gives this passage a brand new meaning for us. Ephesians 6, 17 tells us that the sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. And John 1 tells us that Jesus is that Word. See, I know the sword. It is Jesus in every word written in Scripture. So for those of us who have repented, for those of us who look to Jesus as the one who already paid the price for our sin, that sword protects us. It's for us, not against us. John 3.36 says, And anyone who believes in God's Son has eternal life. Anyone who doesn't obey the Son will never experience eternal life, but remains under God's angry judgment. And because I believe Jesus and His Word, I know His mission. Jesus himself said that he came to seek and to save that which was lost. And Paul said in 1 Timothy 1.15, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And just as Jeremiah said in verse 7, God's word will not rest until this mission is completed. We can find this New Testament promise in Philippians 1.16. And I am certain that God, who began the good work within you, will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns.